the big buffoon from Skyward Sword with a majestic red pompadour. He's considered by many to be one of The Legend of Zelda's best characters. Today we'll take you on a journey through the lore of Groos. I'm Cody, and you're watching Magic Meter. The Knight Academy in Skyloft is a prestigious school where young adults learn to become knights. Students are known to train both in swordplay and loft wing riding. Annually, there's a contest known as the Wing Ceremony, where the participants race on their loft wings to claim a bird statuette before the others. The winner of the competition will perform a ceremony to honour the goddess Hylia and graduate to the senior class. And if they're lucky, they might get pushed off the island. Just before one of these races, a young man named Groose decided to influence the odds in his favour. Along with his friends Colin and Stritch, he kidnapped the loft wing of fellow student Link. With some difficulty, they managed to hide the bird behind some wooden bars off the beaten path because it's Groose's desire to win the race, not just to graduate, but to take part in the special ceremony. In this ceremony, he would spend time alone with Zelda, a girl that he has a crush on. When Link confronts Groose, it becomes apparent that his constant bullying is the product of jealousy because of Link's close bond with Zelda. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. It's only when Zelda intervenes that his verbal assault lets up. Later at the wing ceremony, he continues his dirty tactics, having Colin and Stretch throw eggs at Link to give Groose an advantage. But even cheating doesn't help him. He falls short and slips into the backdrop of the tail. In the main story, we see Zelda get kidnapped and pulled to the surface land, with Link chasing after her. During this period, Gruus can be found in his bedroom, blaming Link for the loss of Zelda. However, he later turns that frustration into action, chasing after Link when he descends to the surface. After a rough landing, he comes to a foreign land full of birds, trees, and Gorons. His complete confusion eventually subsides, and he decides to dub this new world, Grooseland. A name that, much to everyone's dismay, did not stick. Groose runs ahead to speak to Impa about his intentions to save Zelda, but she informs him that this is not his destiny. Shut it, Granny. You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you know that if anyone's gonna save Zelda, it's Groose. How could it not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, why would I even be here? Pfft. If I'm not up to the job of being hero, just who is? His brutish, arrogant behaviour continues to stand strong as he stomps out of the temple. It's shortly after that that the Demon King Demise starts to break free of his imprisonment, causing the entire sacred temple to shake from the tremors. Cruz can only watch as Link throws himself into the action, restoring the seal on the imprisoned, and learning about his next task to save Zelda. Cruz breaks his spectating of these events to reveal a new emotion. Acceptance. I hate even saying this. But I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me? Well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in all this. At this moment, Gruus accepts that it's Link's job to save Zelda. Unfortunately, he falls into a place of desperation and sadness. Link's adventures continue, and Groose is left at the Sacred Temple, sullen and defeated. It is during this time that Impa and Groose became closer. Impa provides Groose with support, motivation, and helps him realise that just because he isn't the chosen hero, he can still help the cause. This comes to fruition when Demise attempts to break free once more, which he does like 3,000 times. Go home, Demise. Just like, sit there for a little while, okay? Calm down, Demise. We find that Groos has constructed a makeshift bomb catapult known as the Grusinado. With this weapon, the imprisoned can be stunned, allowing Link to deal the required damage to restore the seal once more. You have my thanks, Link. As do you, Groos. I do not wish to dwell on what may have happened if you two hadn't been here. Duh. Aw. You give me too much credit, Granny. You were the one who got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and put my energy into doing what I could to help. 
I did what was necessary to get you to realize your full potential. Bruce's compassion continues, accepting that there is more to appreciate in life than himself. When an opportunity opens up to speak to Zelda again, he denies it. He hangs back to ensure the safety of the temple. Shortly afterwards, when Zelda's security is confirmed and he's given the option to return home, he makes a choice that demonstrates his development as a person. Link, I've made up my mind. I'm not going back. I'm staying right here with Granny. Oh, don't look so bummed out. Do I look sad? Nah, I'm doing what I want to do. I don't know how to explain it. I got this feeling in my belly like there's work to do here. Someone's got to watch that big ugly monster, and someone's got to make sure Granny's doing all right. It ain't as action-packed as what you're doing, but maybe this is my destiny. Know what I mean? Following the destruction of the Imprisoned by Link, Bruce is overjoyed to finally see Zelda again. But that joy is cut short by Girahim the Demon Lord, who snatches Zelda away once more. Bruce does his best to stop him and protect Impa, but despite this act of courage, he's shoved aside. He follows after Link into the past, barely catching Zelda as her body is tossed to the side. He wishes Link luck as the final confrontation with Demise begins. Following Link's final battle, Bruce suffers one more emotional blow as Impa fades away, losing someone that helped shape him into a better person. Bruce's future is uncertain. He joins back with Colin and Stritch, flying back into the sky with a parting wave to his two new friends. His tale is one of growth, compassion, and selflessness. Bruce teaches each of us playing the game the value of putting others before yourself and the difficulty of finding your path in life. My name's Cody Davies, the webmaster of Zelda Universe. You can find me on Twitter at Magicody, that's M-A-G-I-C-O-D-Y. And of course you can find Zelda Universe at ZeldaUniverse.net.